Hooey! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for King Sephiel to meet his end. After obtaining the Binding Blade, Roy directs his troops to Burn's capital. King Sephiel awaits within, along with his personal guard. Roy prepares to charge the castle and end the war, and to bring a long-awaited peace back to Alib. Ah, yes. Not my favorite, like, final throne room chapter in Fire Emblem. It is a little bit tediously designed, but I still think it's a pretty epic chapter. But the layout of this chapter, I'm not a huge fan of. However, I am seeing some cracks in the walls. I swear I saw a couple cracks. Yep, there we go. This is incredibly good. It's not, I mean, it doesn't look like much. Like, you can just walk around, but I think this... Actually, come to think of it, unless you, like, really team up on this wall... You might not save that much time, but still, I, I appreciate the effort that was made to make this chapter a little bit less tedious. Could have even included a little crack here, maybe, but that probably would have trivialized things just a tiny bit. So what you gotta be careful about in this map is a couple things. You gotta spread out your restore staff users. You have the same staff, but there's status staffs in this map, I'm pretty sure. God, gotta have Eclipse. Lovely. Can't have a map without freaking Eclipse! Arrgh! Uh, at least there was status days. I don't know where they are now. Maybe they took them out? No? Okay. Well, one thing we do get in this chapter, we get Kath. That's right, she actually shows up in this chapter if you didn't recruit her. And apparently she has a pretty kick-ass personal weapon, so I'm, I'm excited to see how that's gonna plan out. Yes, I'm bringing Merlinus for the final chapter. You know what? It's not actually that bad to bring him here, because you might suddenly find yourself needing an item. Um, it was either that or, like, I had deployment slots to spare. I could have brought, like, I don't know, I could have brought Marcus. Sophia is just stuck unpromoted because I didn't have enough guiding rings. I think you get one from Brunia in the next chapter, so we can promote her then. Yay. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really know who else to bring, honestly. So I just brought, I just decided to bring Marlinus. <laughs> Why not? Alright, let's go. I love how enemies just pop out of thin air here. What are you saying, then? <laughs> so what you're saying is that Murdoch is dead. I'm sorry, your majesty. What is the Etrurian army's next move? They have captured the Shrine of Seals. They marched this way. Very well. Then we face them in the castle. Yes, my king, my life is yours. No, you cannot die here, Branya. I have a task of grave importance for you. Aydun, where are you? Aydun. Here, your majesty. I will remain here and defend the castle against the Etrurian army. You must escape to safety and stay hidden until the battle is over. As your majesty wills. Bronya, you will guard Aiden. Protect her as you would protect me. No, your majesty, please. Allow me to fight by your side. That is something I cannot do. This will be a harsh battle, and Aiden must survive. If she is lost, this entire struggle has been for nothing. I must object, your majesty. I serve you and you alone. Enough, Bronya. Your king orders you. The punishment for defiance is execution. Yes, your majesty. I done. If I fall, the plan continues. <laughs> Just the plan. As you will. The world will be liberated, as per your majesty's command. Good. Then my dream will be fulfilled. Of course, your majesty. The Etrurian army, I will not let you into the throne room. I shall protect the switch with my life. This is the king's castle. Lord Roy, Sephiel is in the throne room in the center of the castle. However, the entryway to the throne is blocked off by automatic defenses, also called a, a door. What can be done? One of the captives said that at either end of the castle, there are switches that can be manipulated to open the way. That will be a long detour. There is more. After hitting the switches, one must hold the fire emblem in front of the throne room and to make it open. How did Sephiel open it if we have the fire emblem? No one asked these questions! I have the fire emblem with me. <laughs> Has he been locked in the throne room? <laughs> How does he get out? <laughs> it sounds like I should go to the throne room while the others handle the switches. That would be the quickest way. But would a captive leak that kind of information so easily? Perhaps it's a trap? I don't believe so. The captive said the switches are protected by Burns' ablest warriors. Even with this information, it will be no easy feat. The enemy may be powerful, but we're not exactly slouches either. I know we're up for the challenge. Victory will be ours. We're not exactly slouches either. You gotta love Roy's choice of words here. Ah, oh, yes! Boys! 
boys. Uh, let's go. It's time. It's time to have fun. So I guess what I could do is I could just warp Roy. I know I do this a lot, but god damn it, it is fun to do. There you go. Let's have some fun. Let's take out all these guys. Yoink. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> that is the fastest route. Oh boy, Nima warp range for the win. Alright, let's see. Binding blood. Does he have unique animations? Uh, I guess? I guess, yeah, no, he does have somewhat unique animations, I guess. And the Binding Blade has 40 uses right now. So that's pretty cool. Oh wait, doesn't Kath show up, like, literally over here? Oh shit. Uh, whoops. Well, it's okay. We'll have fun taking out those guys, I guess. And yeah, let's just move up. We have- I, I put a, a purge on Yoder. He, he can't use the aurora, 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 which is kind of sad, but... He can- uh, he should be able to uh, maybe chip a little bit from afar, we'll see. But what does this guy have? He has a uh, Brave Lance. Haha, <laughs> but I have a hammer. So yeah, let's just charge. So as I said, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the layout of this map, never have been. Uh, let's see, can we, if we check the range, can they actually attack over the walls here? Yeah, so if we put Igran here, the recurve bow, she should be able to take out this guy, which is nice. Uh, I haven't seen any, I, I, I didn't cycle through all the elements, but I haven't seen any status staffs yet. Maybe they took them out? They are kind of a tedious part about this chapter, but they'll, that'll also make the chapter a lot easier, so I don't know about that. I brought Faye too, because why not? I think actually my Hamurn stuff is on the other side though with Chlorine, so I, if I want to Hamurn the warp then... Oh my god, yeah, the Binding Blade is as OP as ever. Jesus. I will say though, Roy's... Master Lord Binding Blade animations, oh god, are a lot cooler than, uh, than like, he, he's, he looks a lot cooler on foot. He looks a little bit less epic on his horse. I like his stance that he takes. So I, I will say that that part is a little disappointing, but, yeah, can't have it all, I guess. A lot of people have been saying in the comment section that they wish Lord, uh, Roy didn't get a mount. That that would kind of tone him down a little bit. Oh god, Roos, Roos kind of died to that hero, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. And I kind of agree with that. If Roy didn't get a mount, then he'd definitely be a lot... Like, he wouldn't snowball as hard. I, I know I did give him the boots, and I do have a tendency of sending Roy like into the thick of things like I am doing now. And once you have a character that can do this, they do tend to snowball really quickly. Fire Emblem is very much like a rich get richer kind of system. Because when a character can do this, like, why shouldn't you use them to clear out a bunch of stuff? Like, look at this. It's insane. I mean... And it's, it's, so, it's so crazy to think that, at this point, it feels like Roy has been promoted forever, and he has. I think I promoted him on the Western Isles, if I'm... A little bit after the Western Isles, I think. Uh, no, I think I promoted him on the Western Isles. This is where Roy is normally supposed to get his promotion. He's supposed to be a level 1 promoted unit now. That is insane to think about, when you think about how long this Let's Play has been. And yes, I have gone to both. Wait, what? Seriously, that's 3 range? Are you kidding me? They gave the Binding Blade 3 range? Are you shitting me? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Really? Okay, well, I guess... I thought they couldn't make Roy any more broken. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> they gave it three rage. You know, just just to add insult to injury, they gave it three rage. Oh wow, something Roy wasn't able to double. What the hell? Oh god, really? I survived the Berserker only for this to happen? <laughs> Very funny game. Alright, we're back. Uh, this time around I didn't warp Roy in here, even though it's tempting, because I'm pretty sure Kath shows up from this stair tile right here. And I don't really want, um, I, I want, like, I need to go back to recruit her anyway, so... I don't really see the point in, uh, warping him in there. I might as well move up here, take the... Very nice. Uh, I might as well move him up here and then, uh, step on the switch and then go back to recruit. I don't remember when she shows up, it, it's not, it doesn't take that long, if I remember correctly. So... 
Anyway, a bunch of my guys took a whole crap ton of damage here. The enemies in this map are quite scary. I mean, I'll give them that. So, uh, yeah, Roy can easily handle that side on his own. There is a general here with the silver bow we gotta take care of, though. Uh, I don't know if Lou is equipped to deal with that. Guy does have a lot of health. Could try a Toma. Oh, actually, Garrick took a crap ton of damage as well. I mean, maybe it's four blaze time, actually. Ooh, four blaze time, maybe. We, we need animations. Honestly, we might not need the four blaze. The air caliber might be enough. Yeah, Lena has so much magic. She'll, she's fine with just the air caliber. We do need to get out or get her out of there, though. We don't exactly want Lilina on the other side of the wall with these enemies shooting at her. Here we go. All right, another level up. Wow, these enemies are pretty high level. Hit points, speed unlock. That's capped luck, baby. Capped lock. Seven defense still, though. Bad unit. As long as we stay on this side of the wall, we should be okay, I think. There we go. And now we just need to deal with this hero. Uh, should we just let's just rescue Lean out of there. We could actually shoot with Dion if we want to. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should actually have Dion pick off some of these guys from 3 range. That might not be such a bad idea. Although, my Dion sadly doesn't have a, um... He doesn't have the Murglass anymore. I gave that to Bartra because, uh, the Armats is on Garrett right now. I, uh, I wanted Garrett to have the Armats, and I wanted Bartra to have a special weapon, so I, I figured, you know, why not. Uh, can we even... can we kill this guy? Lou is not fast enough to do that. What if we use the Maltet, maybe? I don't think that's gonna be enough, either. Hmm... This guy has a lot of range, but... I guess if we use the Maltet, and then go and attack him... We can actually attack him from across the other side of the wall. Actually, I'm not sure if that's enough. Is that actually enough to kill? Uh, It's not enough! God damn it! Okay, well that's... You know what, I think I might have to use the Saint Staff now. Because everyone's taking so much damage, I don't actually think I have a choice. But yeah, this is why I wanted Barcher to have the Murglies. Look at that. Mulligear Bartra, baby! Oh, so nice. That 5 speed, boy. Does that show up on a stat? No, it doesn't. Oh, he leveled speed! He leveled speed! 24 speed with the Murgleyes, that is really nice. Uh, that guy's a Lance Weaver, so let's uh, equip an axe, I guess? And uh, probably a Tempest Blade for fear, so we can retaliate here. Yeah, I'm gonna use the same stuff on Chlorine now. Because everyone's taking so much damage, I just want to heal them up. Uh, I do believe my Yoder got Berserked as well. So uh, that's actually just nice for me. I have the Rescue Staff if I want to rescue someone over to the other side. Could try that. Nah, we're not gonna use Purge. Does Divine have any special qualities to it? No, it's just literally just advanced light magic. Oh, I forgot. I got Ogier on this side now. Uh, so... Yeah, Dion. I don't know what to do with this guy. He's a, he's a Devil Axe. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I guess we... I don't know. Is he gonna go for Dion? Does this guy, can this guy attack? This guy's a Tomahawk. I could rescue Dion with Lou. I think I might actually do that. Because I think he might die if the Devil X guy goes for him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, he didn't backfire! Didn't backfire! But the Devil X is ridiculously heavy. So it wasn't a very good thing to equip either way. Percival level up. How many levels have Percival gotten in this playthrough? Not a lot. I think he's level 12 at base, isn't he? Oh, wow. Ba -ba -ba. All right, he had an Axe River too. I should have known. I should have known. Okay, here comes a Berserker. 
The bottom enemies don't tend to move unless you get close to them. You can actually ignore them for the most part. And yeah, I gotta take out these physics staves. God, the magic on these guys is insane. Huh? Oh yeah, th this is the Berserk guy. Okay, I think he's differently placed now than he normally is. So that it's it's probably a little bit easier to take him out now. Uh, what is this? Uh, Sword Reaver. I kind of want to take out this guy, actually. Uh, because, uh... I think this guy in melee could probably threaten Roy a little bit. One thing I will give the new Binding Blade animations, they're quicker. <laughs> I wonder, can you still use it to recover health? This is a fun, funny aspect about the Binding Blade that not a lot of people are aware of. You can actually use it to heal yourself. Not that you would ever want to do this, but you can do it if you want to. Let's see, first of all... Okay, can't really reach that guy. Uh, however... I think we can reach that guy with Garrett if we if we play for him. No more sleeping for you. Uh, I guess the Stolfo can go open the chests. You do get some stat boosters here, if I remember correctly. Nothing, like, spectacular or anything like that, but you do get something. Eh, I don't actually want to do this. I thought he was in range, but he's not. If I miss, then he can probably kill me. He'll probably prefer physicking, though. But still, I, I want to be on the safe side here. Alright, so we got to do something about that Berserker. I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do to that Berserker. Uh, I could probably pull this guy using uh, Mulligir Bartra. I can probably kill this guy using Mulligir. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is the Devil X guy that crit himself on Percival, I think. The very same. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull that Sniper, get rid of him. Uh, Fear can probably go and, uh... Let's have a lance. Oh, I can... Uh, no, that's a Reaver Reaver, okay. Wu Dao time, let's go. 103% crit. Completely unnecessary, but I just love seeing crits... Uh, crits fear animation. I don't know why I can't speak sometimes when I record these less plays. Hit points and luck! Alright, no more berserking for you, Mr. Sage. Yes, I'm using the recurve boy. Ah, uh, uh, is she really firing three arrows? It looks like she's firing two. Maybe she is firing three, actually. Alright, uh, let's uh, heal up Bartra. Probably won't need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh yeah, he's actually reached his hit point cap, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Ooh, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? I could pull that druid with Saul, and, uh, wait, who has the Shine Tome? I think it's Chlorine who has the Shine Tome. I'm gonna pull this guy, hopefully he'll attack me. And with the, uh, with the Shine Tome on me, that's, like, super effective against the magic users, and has a weapon triangle advantage, so if that guy- I actually kinda wanna see Saul fight. I haven't had his animations on, I think, at all, so let's actually see him fight a little bit, shall we? Yeah, we got some druids coming. I think this guy might have a bow. Nope, he does not. So let's uh, start cracking down that wall a little bit so we can get into the throne room and step on the switch. Step on me, daddy. So, uh, any ranged weapons here? It's one. One ranged guy. I guess Percival can deal with him with the multip. Probably a good idea. Yeah, now, now these guys are coming. Adieu! A boo boo boo! Oh no! Man, it wouldn't be Fire Emblem without Eclipse, am I right? Okay, am I gonna double the sniper? No, I'm gonna crit the sniper. Equally good. It would be funny if I accidentally broke one of my legendary weapons before killing Saphiel and had to reset because of that. Oh no, light brand, whatever shall I do? I do have to be a little bit cautious though when I use legendary weapons this much. If I don't pay attention, they, one of them might break. I I think, ironically, like the Durandal and the Armads. Uh oh. Are actually uh, some of the weapons I've used the least despite getting them first. I think Garrett can still take a Fenrir and live because I think he, I think the Fenrir dealt 33 damage to him. Oh, what? 
No, that's my apocalypse. God damn it. Well, at least we get to see Saul kill something. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I am at the first switch. Time to kill this guy rather easily. He has a rune blade, though. But it's not gonna matter. Binding blade to OP. Maybe I'll just hammer in the binding blade and just steamroll the final chapter with it. That'd be kind of funny. Anyway, let's uh, get this chest. Uh, Worm Slayer, not really necessary. Got a dra dragon shield. I don't know if that's something we want. Uh, I could also go for these guys. I suppose there's no harm in it. I mean, uh, actually, there is a little bit of harm in it. He could hit me with an Osferatu and that'd be really bad. Uh, yeah, okay, that almost killed me. Probably should be a little bit more careful. Hit points, speed, and resistance. That's nice. I think I'll just stay here. Alright, let's go. So, uh, on this side, I've been moving a little bit further north. Uh, these guys... Oh, God. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I didn't realize this guy had a Fenrir. Uh, 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 okay, that's, that's really bad. Am I gonna die now? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> he went for Merlinus. Okay, oh no. Thank you, Merlinus, for giving your life for lady. Tip, tip. That is the ultimate tip, tip right there. I wonder if Roy can solo Cephiel's throne room with his Binding Blade. Is this the switch? Nothing's happening. I don't know, can he? 35 uses left? Probably can, honestly. So yeah, now we just have to wait for Kath to show up. Maybe we'll just give Roy the Draco shield. Why not? There we go. Why not? Like, seriously. Who else? Might as well. Like, defense is like the one stat that Roy doesn't, like, completely crush in. So, I actually think that's okay. I mean, God knows he's gonna see a lot of action before this chapter is through. Yeah, I don't know when Kath show. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen her show up this late. I don't even know what she says. Oh, is that a support? All right, fine. Lelina. Lelina! Hmm, Roy? What's the matter? You were spacing out again. This is a battlefield. You could get killed. I'm sorry. What's wrong? It's just that we've come so far. Have we? I'm not talking about distance. It's just that everything seems to have changed so quickly. Do you remember back when you first came to Austria to study? Of course, it was two years ago. Wait, or was it three years ago? Our fathers were still both well. Alicia was peaceful. No one could have imagined this war. It was only a few years ago, yet it feels like an eternity. Lelina. Oh, just listen to me. There's no going back to those days, is there? Nostalgia can hit you pretty hard. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 uh, yeah, I'm just gonna brace her, this guy. I don't, I don't want to risk the counter attack and have him heal up again. There we go. So yeah, once I get on the other side, once I step on the switch, I don't know if Cat's gonna show up first or whatnot. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, we gotta do something about these guys. So what does this guy have? Silver bow, armor slayer, halberd. Who should I kill first? I don't know. But I know I can kill this guy 100% of the time. <laughs> oh, this is my fear. It's amazing. And then I don't know, don't know what's best to try and kill a hero or kill the sniper. Uh, probably need the Viral Axe, though. Actually, no, the Viral Axe is not enough. What the hell? Uh, I could try the Mula Gear, maybe? Oh, wow. I'm not doubling even with the Mula Gear. What the hell? But I am doubling with this. Of course, that means he's gonna attack Bartra and he won't be able to attack back unless I trade something to him. But he can handle it. I don't think I need to worry about that. Anyway, I Gren. Uh, probably just wanna get rid of this guy now. You know what? No, I don't need the short bow, but this. Let's try and save the recurve bow a little bit because I actually don't have a spare one, I think. And the silver bow can get the job done, so why not? All right, time for another unspectacular I grand level up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Skill, speed, defense. Oh, it's not bad, I guess. Getting speed is nice. She's as fast as Barcher now with the Murglice, so... 
And I can actually use Saul with the shine here to kill these guys. Forgot to enable his animations, forgive me. But hey, fighting with Saul is nice. Even though he, the dude has five luck. Alright, let's uh, start breaking down this wall, shall we? Let's do global ranges. Who can attack over here? Is that a warrior? Ah, it's a warrior with a, with a bow, okay. I do think you save a little bit of time doing this. I don't think you save a lot of time, but a little bit of time, I, I do think. I, I think this is probably worth it. I think I brought a chest key on Melody to open those chests. Might be something good on them, I don't know. Actually don't remember at all. But yeah, Roy is pretty much just gonna sit around, isn't he? So it's, I mean, I might as well start walking down to the throne room. There's no harm in it, I guess. I could uh, pull this guy with Percival, I suppose. I just gotta be careful, this guy might have a bow. Oh, longbow warrior, okay. Oh, look at that, a stealable power glow. Uh, okay, can I, I don't, I don't suppose I can make him move, can I? Brave Axe should be okay if Percival just equips a sword. Brave Sword should do it. Yeah, I might as well go and, and kill those guys. I don't have anything better to do with my time, so why not? Nima's gonna stay around, she's gonna warp Roy as soon as he's done recruiting Kath. Yeah, we're doing this, ladies and gentlemen. I got several physics staves left. And Yoder, let's move. Oh, I can purge the <laughs> I can purge the sky. <laughs> I can purge the wall. <laughs> let's do it. Purge. Ooh, oh, I crit him! <laughs> I crit him! Purge! Purge the heretics. Oh, he's actually using his armor slayer rather than his brave axe. That's interesting, I guess. I guess the armor slayer just has better hit on it. Yeah, I might steal that power glove. Why not? I got a stole for here. He doesn't have anything. Oh god, that guy hits hard. Holy shit. Oh boy. That is actually quite scary. Kath, are you gonna show up soon? No? Okay. Fine, just be like that. Maybe Percival can just go and bonk the guy. Would be nice to just get him out of the way. I don't remember if the he Actually, then I won't get the power glove though. Hmm. Hmm, choices, choices. Well, uh, this will be a kill, I think. I'm fairly certain this will be a kill. Yep, yeah, this will be a kill. Unless my math is completely off. Nope. My math was not completely off. Alright, no power glove for me, I guess. But seriously, who needs a power glove at this point of the game? Power gloves are just discount speed wings. Prove me wrong. And they're, they're actually worse. They're, they're, they're even worse than, this, than speed wings because... Actually, I guess increasing your... If you give it to a, a, an infantry unit, I guess it increases their rescue capacity. Like, there is some merit to that, I suppose. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna completely down-trivialize that fact, but... If you give it to a mounted unit, you are just reduced their rescue capacity, which is not that great. I should probably be careful. I know there's enemies here. Just don't remember where they are. Okay, uh, should be able to crack down this wall now. Yes, I'm using a killer bow on a wall. Shoot me. Here we go. I guess Spartan here can go this way? I mean, there's no sense in letting them go the other way at this rate, right? Yeah, let's send a... Let's have a daddy-daughter day down here and kill every, kill every last one of them. Alright, um... Thorine helps with this guy. Very nice. Oh, uh, I'm kind of sad I don't get to see Aurolia, Aurolia, Chlorine, but that requires you to fight a lot with her. Okay, this is actually a little bit scary. I think I'm, I'm gonna do this. I actually don't want her to take on a warrior like that. Warriors are kind of scary. Oh, here comes the berserker. Oh god. Whoops. I think I might double him, though. No, halberds are pretty heavy, but heroes are pretty buff, I suppose. No! <laughs> hey, Kath, you gonna... You gonna show up soon, Kath? I know she shows up at some point. I know she does. 
Well, I guess at this point, Roy isn't going to solo the throne room, because everyone's going to be down here. Alright, can I kill this guy in one turn? Not really. Uh... Uh... I guess the Stolfo can help out. If it crits with a knife, that'd be really nice. Oh, Very nice, very nice. Wow, he just one-rounded a freaking Berserker with a knife. Like it's nothing. <laughs> Hit points, speed, and resistance. Uh, <laughs> there we go again, the Thunder Affinity level up. You know, that's that's just his Thunder Energy showing. I realize this now. You know what? I don't like this guy. I want to kill him. He's just going to get physicked up, isn't he? He's just going to get physicked up. You know, I should leave some guys up north to deal with the, the Physic Staff Bishops when they show up. They show up pretty late, but they do show up at some point. Igren can probably do that, come to think of it. What does this guy have? Silver bow? I think Igren can, uh, can handle that. Especially if she has uh, Sol backing her up. Uh, what's blocking our way here? We got a Great Knight. Don't think he moves. And then we got this guy with the Rune Blade. We do... Uh, can these guys deal with that guy? I actually don't know. These aren't exactly my strongest fighters. Should have put Fear up here, I guess. Yeah, this is not gonna go so well, is it? Fa can probably deal with them. Like, no memes. I think Fa can actually murder these guys. Okay, don't crit me, please. Actually, it won't matter. I have a brave sword. We can leave Percival with the Malted and Fa, so that when they show up, we can just instantly bonk them. Strength and skill. Uh... All right, let's just go down to the throne. Wait, why? Nima, go back. Go back to warp duty. <laughs> Kath, you gonna show up soon? Or are you just gonna sit around? I don't think this guy has any weapons. Oh, never mind. He has a purge. Okay. He hasn't used it yet. Why hasn't he used it? I don't know why he hasn't used it. Yeah. I have no idea why he hasn't used it yet. I guess he will soon. That's another Devil Axe guy. Shut up. Oh. Oh! Oh. Oh, god damn it. I'm sorry, Theo. God damn it! <laughs> ah! I thought he... I, I didn't think he'd moved! Because he looked like he didn't move. <laughs> Uh, she didn't have a legendary weapon on her, did she? No. God damn it. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to play this map again. I didn't want to unlock. God damn it. Bullion? Who, who cares about bullions? At this point of the game. Who gives a shit? I don't give a shit. Okay. Let's not... I don't want to ruin the mood. I'm sorry, Thea fans. But this is, this is an Iron Man run. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not gonna kill him, am I? I'm gonna have to purge the guy, am I? Yeah, I have to purge him now. Purge! Okay. Um, still no calf, so... Yeah, I guess we just... We do this with the bard, I suppose. Just go and chill outside the throne room. This is another thing I don't really like about this map, how it's laid out in such a way that there's just so much walking, man. It's like really FU4 up in here. There we go. And I think this was the guy who suicided on Percival. There's actually a lot of Devil Axes in the final map, funnily enough. Just goes to show Sephiel knows what he's doing, right? You know what? You get you die with a hammer. You don't you don't get to get killed by a real weapon. There we go. Have fun with that. Ra -ba 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 -ba. Strength, luck, and defense, boys! Strength 29. He's gonna cap it. He's gonna cap it. 
All right, bishops, I'm ready for you. Kath, where are you? Fuck off. There she is. Castle Burn, a worthy target for the master thief. I'm sure there's mountains of gold hidden in here somewhere. Yeah, except that I took it all. <laughs> so, have fun with that. Oh, another rogue just showed up. All right, guys, let's see if it was worth it to make Kath uh, join all towards the end. Rukuda, okay, I heard this personal weapon breaks the game. Yep, yep, that is definitely a good personal weapon, all right. 80 crit, ladies and gentlemen, 80 crit. 80 crit and effective, she can just one-shot any dragon with this, like, it'll, it'll have 45 effective might, 80 crit. Which means she will crit and triple. This is just like a what? This is just slays any dragon. Like this straight up just slays any. It slays anything really. 80% crit, 50 might is broken as hell. Okay, and her stats are insane too. Of course she auto levels. Makes sense. Can we find her growths? It's been so long. Here they are. Does it matter? No, not really. 255% luck. Best unit in the game. Am I right? 38 res. Yeah, this was this was worth it for sure. Oh, you. Hmm? You again? You always come and mess up my plans. Do you have it out for me or something? No, I just wanted to apologize. Excuse me? The last time I met, I was pretty callous. I said you shouldn't steal, but I didn't even realize what you've been through. Oh, that? Whatever. I don't care. But I still think what you do is wrong. You got some nerve, you know that? Just give me a chance. A chance? Once this war is over, I promise to help rebuild your village. I'll be sure the taxes are put to good use, too. Just please stop looting. How long will that be? Whenever this war ends, I can't say when. And you expect me to wait patiently until then? No, all I want is your faith. Why are you so kind to me? I'm just a thief! Without you, you we wouldn't have escaped Wagner's trial. That feels like an eternity ago. Maybe you didn't care about helping us, but the fact is that you did. You saved our lives. You're more than just a thief. If things keep going like they have, I guess you'll get in my way no matter where I go. As long as you appear in our path, fine, you win. I'll stop looting battlefields. You will? Thank you. But I'm coming with you. What? Why? Actions speak louder than words. Prove to me that you'll be true to your promise. I won't disappoint you. Now go loot that chest, please. It's so stupid how Roy is like, stop stealing, and then he recruit. Oh, God damn it! And then he recruits the goddamn rogue! And asks her to open chests! It doesn't make any sense! That's right. That's right. Kath versus Sephia, let's go. Kath versus Sephia, let's go. Roy is not the main character anymore. Kath is. Let's turn on our animation, shall we? Who cares about the virgin binding blade, am I right? It's the freaking Chad Rukud! That is the big deal here. It would be funny if a stall could just like, I found a way to open throne room, you just pick luck, it's very easy. Uh, no, no need the uh, fire emblem or binding blade, I just... Uh, easy as a keyhole, you just uh, you put key in hole, open door, it's, <laughs> it's very simple. Like, you don't need that switch uh, crap. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't think Bartra and Fear will reach the party to be relevant. Um... However, I Grand's gonna be hopefully very. Oh god, this guy has three range. I just realized this now. But it did not matter. However, I do think we should try and kill this guy though. I, do I still have. Oh god. Kill him, milady. M tip tip, milady, what are you doing? So yeah, once we step on that switch. God, I get quadruple. <laughs> Yay, I dodged the last one. That's all that matters. Ah, really? I'm gonna have to purge another guy? Well, I'm glad I have that purge tome. I don't know if this guy's aggressive. He probably isn't, but I don't want to risk it. Just in case, you know? All right, will he heal himself up? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, no, he did. But if I crit him, he's dead, so. God damn it, Igran, why can't you crit? This 
screw you, seriously, just, just go to hell. Oh, here they come. I knew they'd show up sooner or later. Okay, we'll do this. We we'll probably didn't need to do this at all, honestly, but it's fun. And I can hammer in the warp staff next chapter. Uh, question is, can I... Come on, I grant, get that crit, and don't get crit back, please. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Am I going to send Roy into the, the throne room? Hell yes, I am. Does not matter. Gonna send him in. It's gonna be fun. And now we can put Milady on the switch. This is the switch. Nothing happening, though. Us, summer 2018. Yeah, he actually takes a crit. Actually, no, he doesn't. God damn it, he doesn't. Oh god, no. Please don't get crit. Don't get crit, please. Oh, thank you. If he had gotten crit, I would actually need to reset. <laughs> actually, no, he would have taken crit. Never mind, I'm bad at math. There we go. Sorry. Uh, oh my god, look at that. I think that, no, the Divine Stone is ma it is physical damage, not magical, or else there's no way I would have dealt 41 damage. Beautiful. Good job, chicken. Hit points, strength, skill, uh, luck, and resistance. Alright, are you guys ready for the carnage? You better be ready for the carnage, because it's about to fucking happen. You've come. <laughs> it's laughable, really. A mere child making it this far. Cephiel, King of Burn. Why did you start this war? I wish to end the age of man. I don't understand. Humans are filthy and despicable creatures. They flock to the promise of power like hideous, hairless sheep. And they stab trusted allies while their backs are turned. I'm certain you have witnessed such acts in your travels. Jealousy, hatred, greed. Friends and family are driven to murder one another by these petty emotions. Such emotions spawn fathers who would even kill their own brood. As long as humans control, as long as human dictate, as long as humans ex exists, this madness will never end. But you can s but consider what you've done. You've become exactly w that which you despise. Do you know how the scouring ended? The demon dragon was defeated by Hartman. Yes, it was history's greatest mistake. Mankind should not have won. After the humans' ill-gotten victory, they per per perverted this world into an order cesspool of madness and evil. And tr all through their illogical, contentable emotions. Mistakes cannot be left uncorrected. I will return the world to the dragons. I will liberate it from the gnarled grasp of man. The slate will be wiped clean. History will be rewritten. It is the only way to free the world from everlasting agony. Is it true that you resurrected a demon dragon? There is no need to answer that. You will know yourself before long. You said you intend to give the world to the dragons. How would rule by dragons be any different? The dragons you have seen are weapons for battle. They have no self. They lack reprehensible emotions to drive them, unlike humans. The dragon's rule will be just and peaceful. Such a world can't be a better alternative. Some humans may commit terrible atrocities, but it has always been the other humans who have stopped them. Your naivety amuses me. You have lost faith in humanity. And you're in your shell. I believe in mankind, and I know that your lunacy must be stopped. Oh, 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 okay, everyone get away, I guess. Get the hell away from Roy, because he's gonna solo the game. Hopefully he can. I think he should be able to with his Binding Blade, he really should. Does the Binding Blade give him more speed? I actually forgot to check. I don't think so. I think it gives him more luck. It points luck. Speaking of luck. Yeah, this is this is okay. We can keep Lelina here. Uh, yeah, no, I think Roy Roy's ready to rumble. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, let's just go kill Sephiel. Roy can probably do it himself. But he needs some help. <laughs> he needs some help from the Rakud. Rakud. Uh, what's Cat's luck? I don't want her to go up against a Berserker, actually, so... We'll do this for now. Good! 
god, how hard is Roy gonna kill Manakeets with that? <laughs> Sword Reaver, that's cute. Very cute. Oh uh, yeah, very, very adorable. Please bring on the next guy. Okay. Gotta be careful, some of these guys might be able to shoot over the wall, so... Yep, 0% hit. What else you gotta do? Bang. <laughs> Just gonna delete the entire freaking throne room. Oh, Swordmaster. Very cute. Oh, he actually hit me. Let me return the favor. I don't think I'm gonna double a Swordmaster, actually. Nope, I get doubled by a Swordmaster. Oh yeah, you got three range? I got three range too, let me show you. Bonk. Bonk. Next. This must be terrifying for Sephiel to watch. Just like a, a freaking 16 year old kid just coming into his throne room and just obliterating everything. Who would win? A bunch of elite trained royal guards? Or a little boy with a sword? My god. <laughs> oh, nearly a one shot. Nearly a one shot. Oh wow. Of course, of course. Had to happen. Aw, oh, really? Uh, okay, well, I got re. I hope I have a restore staff at any rate. I think I do. I think Lalina has one. Alright, how many uses of the Binding Blade do we have left? 28. Should last us a pretty long time, I think. Got asleep. Well, these guys are not gonna reach to be relevant, so... They're not gonna reach in time, so... Uh, it's, might as well heal up Roy a little bit, I guess. I don't know if it's safe to send anyone else in here. We could try and send the Rakud, I guess. But it would... The, the safest bet is probably just to... Uh, God. The safest bet is probably just to let Roy murder these guys. Good four blaze. What if I do... I could do this with Lelina, and then I could have Roy within range of Lelina. That could work, actually. She has capped rest. If I just take out any physical attackers next to her, then this shouldn't be that hard. There we go. I don't think the Mana Kid can reach Lelina. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's what I thought. And if these guys wants to go for Lelina, that's actually okay with me. That is actually okay with me. I'll, I'll give her the four blaze just for the extra luck. Oh crap, I forgot to unsilence Lou. Well, whoops. Guess there's not really that much to be done. I guess I'll just do this. Uh, I gotta move out of this guy's range, obviously. Let's heal up Soul a little bit. I, this was completely unnecessary. I don't know why I did this. Yeah, I'm gonna just let Roy kill all those guys. They're in range of him now. Oh wow, oh it's an ice dragon. What the hell, I didn't even, oh, that's so cute. Huh. Oh, ice dragons. I, I, I didn't even bother checking their inventories, but yeah, okay, there's different dragon types here. That, that is actually kind of cool, I like that. And that's a, uh, oh, okay. Looks like Roy can still be killed by dragons. They're still pretty scary. Yeah, I think, I think the Flamestones just have a lot of hit on them. But there, I don't think, there was only two dragons here, so. It doesn't really matter. Oh god. Okay, alright, oh god. You gotta be fucking... That was my goddamn apocalypse tome, wasn't it?
a fitting end. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed Project Ember. I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. This is what the Let's Play is, guys. This is what it has always been. Little boy obliterates entire throne room on his own. I mean, why, why bother doing anything else? That is clearly the winning formula here. So yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just have fun, I guess. Oh, I just realized the freaking druid just spawned there. I actually didn't know he did. Did he do that last time too? I actually don't remember. Wait, does that mean there's a druid here too? Oh no, I'm blocking it. Forgot to give the Draco shield to Roy, I think, so. Whoops, but yeah, let's uh, have some fun. Oh, they're running away to get healing, I think. I hope Roy can kill Cephiel on his own. I think he can. Hope he can. Oh no, he got hit. <laughs> okay, this is actually a little scary. But I think that's the last dragon, right? Yeah, I don't think anyone else can really do much to Roy now. The dragons do hit pretty hard. Um, okay, you can stop now. You can stop now. This isn't funny anymore. Uh, hopefully the Binding Blade doesn't freaking break. I could... Oh god, that's a Brave Bow. Almost at a Brave Boy again. Come on, no, 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 Or maybe he can. I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. So, uh, yeah, no, we can probably soul our way out of this one. Uh, do we have the bard here? I want to put Lilina in such a way that I hope she can reach Roy from here. I really do, because, uh... Oh, wait, I have the Saint... Oh, never mind, she can reach him. I have the Saint staff. I can just use that. I think animations are forced against Cephiel? I seem to recall this, actually. Yeah, animations are actually forced. Let's go... Crit him, maybe? Yeah, I have the Saiyan staff that I can pop after this. Of course, they're gonna start healing Cephiel, I think, unless I can crit him. Oh. You know what? Do I have a warp staff left? I think I do. Uh, yes. Okay, I have an idea. Because I think this 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 chapter is not Sea's Throne, is it? Oh, actually it is. Okay. Because if I can restore Nima, she can probably warp someone in there. She can warp Kath in, maybe. Oh, can Kath kill him? With the Rakud, she has 127 hit. That's not great, actually, but... She'll deal, uh... 32 minus... She'll hardly do damage. She might actually kill him, though, funnily enough, but... I don't think it's reliable. But then again, reliability was never what we did here on the channel, was it? Do we kill Cephiel with Kath? I think we do, actually. Let's do it. We have a warp staff left, so... <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Uh, where, where's Kath's animations? There we go. <laughs> Uh, is this safe? Probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Here we go. Kingslayer Kath, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh god, this is horrible. Why did I do this? Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I think Cephiel attacks Roy before uh, the healers heal. I think so. Did I even look at Cephiel's stats? Actually, I don't think I did. But he's dead now, so... Yeah. Well, that was a stupid ending. Fitting, I think. 
I am defeated. But remember this, my will shall never die. As long as humans retain control, madness will reign. Okay, whatever you say, but- oh wait, you get- what? Wait, you get the Echis Axe? Really? As if we needed more broken weapons. That's so broken, it's an unbreakable 1-3 range sword. Okay, Fear, come here. You're the king of burn now. <laughs> fear with the Echis Axe, baby. Echis Axe Fear- no, don't you dare go onto the throne, not cool. Wait, I have animations on? Oh, I guess I do. I like that even with a personal weapon that gives her 20 rest, she still takes 6 damage from the Fenrir. It would be funny if the bind- what happens if the binding blade breaks now? Do you get the best ending? I don't- I guess you don't. That'd be funny. Oh wait, that hero actually blocks the throne, I think. That's actually kind of annoying. You know, your king died, you can- you know, honestly, this could have been made into a kill boss chapter. Like, if you're gonna change certain objectives, I think that a, a, a kill boss would actually kind of work for this one. Don't you guys think? Because, like, once you kill Sephiel, shouldn't the forces of Burn kind of, like, give up? And their king just died. I would not keep fighting if I was Burn. Yeah, this is actually kind of annoying because I can't seize this turn unless Kath can somehow magically take out the hero. Oh, she actually can. We have to watch this. Kath MVP, baby! <laughs> okay, that's actually really funny. That's actually really funny. Alright, well. To the throne we go! Zephyr has fallen. We've done it, Lord Roy. Or have we? Dun dun dun! What? What do you mean? The Dark Priestess is nowhere to be found. She must have escaped. So it seems. What? What was that? Zephyr's sword, it glowed. It's... Ekisax. The sword wielded by the King of Burn. Lord Roy, legends say that when all the legendary weapons come together, the Dragon Sanctuary will rise from the ground. The Dragon Sanctuary? It was the headquarters and lair of the dragons. That's what the legends say anyway. Yes, I've heard that too. Does that mean the Ekisak is the final legendary weapon? I thought it was the Binding Blade. The Binding Blade may be on an even higher level than the legendary weapons. It may be its own entity, beyond compare to even the legendary weapons. More powerful than the legendary weapons? What power lies in the sword? Well, I don't know, the Ekisak seemed way better. The sword is glowing again. The light is pointing to the south. Will the light lead us to the Dragon Sanctuary? That is how the stories go. If the Dark Priestess is the Demon Dragon, as we suspect, then she is most likely at the Sanctuary. Very well, we follow the light. Alright, ladies and gentlemen! Two more chapters, and this Let's Play is over. See you guys then.